Researchers have created a pill that you can ingest and it can track your farts. And I promise this is useful. It is useful. <laughs> Researchers so published this data in Nature Electronics, and this is in order to read the gas inside of your body. There's a lot of different things that are going on in your GI tract, and sometimes it can be harder to deci decipher from the outside what is going on. Uh, but this leads to perhaps more understanding of how nutrition can affect us, of how we can fix certain gut biome problems, and. Yes, it is a fart pill. So we have a picture of the pill. It's roughly the size of a large vitamin, and it has a polymer shell that has sensors for temperature, for carbon dioxide, for hydrogen, for oxygen, as well as a battery and a transmission system. One end of the pill has a gas permeable membrane, so it can permeate all that gas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a big ass vitamin, by the way. It's it's not saying. that big. I think I think it's like a large pill. This is why like I if you take gummy maybe vitamins. a fish oil pill, like those big <laughs> ass pills. But you can certainly swallow it. And they decided in this to um, do a few different trials, one of which they uh, tested the capsule in six healthy people. And they decided to monitor the pill's intestinal adventure uh, <laughs> using ultrasound and linked locations and gas profiles. That's so, an animated series right there. Well, they did test this with different people. So on one, they tested uh, with an extremely high fiber diet and then an extremely low fi fiber diet. It took for when he, the person, I shouldn't say he, I don't know what their gender is, uh, I assumed it, he also for some reason. It took 20 hours to get from one end of the mouth to the butt. Uh, and it spent 4.5 hours in the stomach, 2.5 in the small intestine, and 13 hours in the colon. And during that time, gas measurements were taken, uh, revealing information about what's going on in the gut. Carbon <laughs> dioxide, I'm trying so hard to keep it like factual. Carbon dioxide and hydrogen levels peaked in the early hours. And then later we saw O2 crashing, which is consistent with um, uh, the anaerobic bacteria that don't need oxygen that inhabit parts of the colon. Um, and then they fermented undigested food bits into fatty acids and were able to help keep metabolism and health high. For the other one, they gave this person a low fiber diet and had them ingest the pill. So while the other one took 20 hours to make it through, this time it took three days to make it through. Oh, that's why I eat your you vegetables. You need fiber, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and he, I keep saying he, I'm sorry, the person experienced um, discomfort and they needed to take some high fiber foods in order to force it out. Uh-huh, um, uh-huh. <laughs> And it showed a shift in the gut towards species, uh, bacterial species associated with poor gut health. Yeah. So it did show, on these levels at least, that high fiber diets, while at this level of extremeness, uh, can be uncomfortable. Low fiber diets are also pretty bad very, for you. Very, very bad for you. You should eat your vegetables. No, and I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to giggle too, but it's, but it actually is kind of an interesting thing because there are certain parts of your body that if they wanna see what's going on, that you have to do all kinds of weird tests and you can't see things. So being able to swallow a pill to get that sort of tracked mm -hmm. certainly seems a lot easier than other methods that one could imagine. Well, it does transmit yeah. the data out that, yeah. oh, Right here, we have a lot of carbon dioxide, and you could figure from your research, from prior research, what yeah. this could possibly mean, um, and then take in the person's symptoms as well. So this could eventually lead to this pill, this ingestible fart tracker. Um, That's the to best be, name. <laughs> there's probably a better <laughs> word for it. No, there isn't. To be used in normal uh, medical appointments for someone who is maybe having some digestive issues or yeah, food allergies, things like that. No, I don't I mean, know about food allergies. Well, it would be interesting to just see like what sort of foods that you eat that are ca causing distress of some sort or why they're doing it. I think and that those might be different sensors though, because this, this is more focusing on gas creation. Yeah and uh, digestion and how long does it take to get through your body. Yeah. Because, you know, right now we don't know how long things take normally. Yeah. Unless I mean, you've been eating corn. I'm <laughs> sorry to be gross. Um, but <laughs> this can actually help significantly with gut health. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Jenna, I'm sorry I said that. That's but good, it's good, it's good. You it's could good. monitor it from your phone potentially. 
maybe, as our producer Andrew has pointed out, it could tell you if you are going to fart a lot soon and to <laughs> possibly get away from other people. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to be somewhere else right now. I have an appointment. <laughs> I have some um, groundbreaking or windbreaking <laughs> research to attend to. And then you, it could, it could be fun. I mean, people take pills full of glitter to make their poop sparkle. That's true, but you know why what'll not, happen? Why not help your gut health? No, but you know what'll happen? It won't be so like, oh, you know, this might be bad. I'm gonna leave the room. I'm gonna excuse myself. This will be some guy, because you know it'll be a guy. It'll be some guy who's like, oh, this is coming. I'm not gonna tell anyone, and then clears the entire room or waits till he's in the elevator. I'm telling you, that's it's gonna be used for evil. It's gonna be used for evil. It is. Silent. I'm not wrong. I'm it is not wrong. The silent but deadly killer. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, farts are funny. They are. But they could teach you a lot about your inner health. And I think that is what these pills are for, not fart bombs. So, <laughs> audience, would you, would you ingest this pill and what would you do with the information? Would you use it for good? Would you use it for evil? Please yep. let us know below and like and subscribe for more fart news. <laughs>